Hey guys, welcome back to Ganya Farms. Today, we're collecting sap. We got the IBC tote sitting in the truck here. We're getting ready to collect. And the girls are on the way home from school. I kind of got a head start here, so I'm gonna start collecting and they're gonna join me shortly. I'm gonna show you guys how we collect sap around here at Ganya Farms. If you guys got any questions at all, feel free. Uh, hit me up in the comments down below and I'll offer any advice I can. All right guys, let's get uh, loading this sap up here. We got a lot to go. Oh yeah, there's some sap in there. And there goes the ducks again. They're helping me collect sap. Hey guys, I want to show you this. I'm gonna call that a full bucket. It's already leaking out the top. Taking a switch. Yep, she's coming right out the top. That's a good tree right there. All right, let's get this guy dumped. Oy. Oh, that was a heavy one. So collecting a little bit different this year, um, we decided to put any ice that we had in the buckets into our RBC tote. Uh, we've never had ice up problems like we have today, and I wasn't expecting that. So we're going to see how this works out with getting the sap out of the IBC tote into the other IBC tote into the barn. So you guys stay tuned, this might be interesting. And in the meantime, I do have a couple girls out here and they're collecting buckets. I think they're, they stood behind trees at the same time, just on purpose. So there's Candace, she's got some buckets. Veda's got a few buckets. So I'm up here dumping buckets and that's how we're going about it. I just have a big funnel and I dump our buckets into the IBC tote. couple things here uh, I hadn't planned on this much ice being in our buckets but it got a little bit cold today and with the weather the way it is I don't think we're gonna get much of a run this year so we got I think this run right here and possibly next week and I think that's about all of our maple syrup uh, run that we're gonna have this year our maple sap run that we're gonna have this year so I'm trying to keep all of the ice anything I can uh, to boil down because I don't think we're gonna get a lot stay tuned guys Bucket number 672 Looking up at a tree I remember how it started I was lost in a dream when the fire in my heart said open a road oh already found some light the feeling grows and anything sounds all right i'm breaking loose living in the moment 
All right, guys. So last time we left off, we were out here collecting sap. And that was actually a few days ago. Um, where are we? So let's recap. We collected sap and we got uh, right around 90 gallons. And I transferred, it was getting late the other night. So I transferred it into my IBC tote in the barn. And then the weather changed and it changed fast. Uh, nothing I could do but let it set. I couldn't boil it. It was uh, too cold, it's, it froze up in my IBC tote. So I didn't wanna, I wasn't gonna show all that, um, but then I got thinking about it, you know what? You know, this is this is what happens, especially around here in Michigan. Um, you know, things freeze up, weather changes, there's nothing you can do about it. So I'm gonna show it anyways. Um, I'm gonna take you inside and show you kinda the quick setup that I've got right now and explain a few things. And then we're gonna, I think we're gonna start boiling sap. Let's go. This is my tote that we had in the back of the truck. And as you can see, let's spin the lid off here. It is still full of all that ice in those buckets. I, I actually took this IBC tote. I left it in the back of my truck that night. I went into work the next day and I parked it in our heated building to try to melt as much of this ice as we could. I came back home that evening and I drew, I drew off about a gallon of melted sap and that was it. So all day it sat inside, you know, a 60 degree shop and it was, that was all there was, was a gallon of sap. So it's actually still got quite a bit of ice in it. In the meantime, my other tank sitting right here underneath this tarp, uh, it froze up and it actually froze right at the valve too. So there wasn't much I could do about it. I actually put, uh, this tarp over top of it and I put heaters up underneath of it to try to create you know a tent effect um, with the heat to thaw it out I did that all weekend long and it got down to I think 10 degrees the one night and then 11 degrees the next night and there was nothing I could do I didn't want to put too much heat to it because obviously I didn't want to burn the barn down so <laughs> Um, now we're a few days later, weather's cracking. We're at 60 degrees, supposed to be for a high today. It's actually like 25 right now and some really nasty fog. So regardless, we, I did get this uh, freed up at the valve so I can actually draw off of my big tank here. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna draw off our big tank and we're gonna start boiling. All right, one other thing too guys is the other bad thing is I tried getting my RO system going and there seemed to be something wrong with that too. So I'm actually going to be boiling raw sap. I do not have my RO'd sap like I normally would. I was really afraid the other day of getting it out, getting it going, and it freezing up during the night. I don't have heat in my pole barn and it got down too, too low for me to feel comfortable ROing all night long. I would have ROed throughout the day. We had things going on and I wasn't able to stay here all day long and watch it uh, and keep it from freezing up. So we are boiling raw sap. That's what we have. I've done it before. It's not fun, but um, that's what we're gonna do. So we are going to, today, we're gonna boil down as much as I can. So we're gonna start boiling and I believe later today, we're going to collect again and I'm gonna, it's supposed to warm up enough where I think we're going to get a good run today. Probably get a run throughout the night and into tomorrow. And we're going to collect. We're going to see. We, we are either going to collect tonight or tomorrow evening. So I'm hoping that um, we get a good run. I can collect another 100 gallons or so. And then uh, I, it's supposed to cool down for a day or two. And I should be able to boil on the weekend then. So that's going to be great because i hate taking days off work to boil sap but i hate having 100 gallons of sap go bad in the barn so it's kind of a catch 22 situation yeah it's kind of a catch 22 situation you know you either take a day off work or you boil sap or stay go to work and let your sap go to crap <laughs> so that's what we're doing guys i just wanted to update you 
I know I, I did a video with the uh, collecting and everybody out here helped me collect and that was awesome. It went really well. And uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna keep going. It's been a real weird season here in Michigan this year. The temperatures have been all over the place. It's, uh, it's been challenging, but um, it's just something new. We haven't had temperatures quite like this since we've, uh, we've done syrup here on Ganya Farm. So we're gonna keep going though. And we, we're gonna deal with it. So it's just a little bit later season. The temperatures have either been way too warm, like 55, or they've been way too cold, like 10. So we're kind of in that weird teenage stage of spring is what I'm gonna call it. So, all right guys, you stick around. And uh, I've got a few other videos right up here we're gonna link so you guys can uh, watch out how we do our syrup on Ghani Farms. Thanks for sticking around guys. Catch you on the next one.